Welcome back to our CPR series and our fifth part, our last part, is choking. Okay? I want to review the Heimlich Maneuver with you because you're more likely to provide the Heimlich Maneuver and deal with choking than you will <coughs> regarding CPR. So again, a little anatomy. Here's the belly button of this, of this victim, okay? I want to make sure if somebody's grabbing their throat, it's probably evident they're eating and they cannot speak, cough any longer. We want to find their belly button, okay? If they're coughing, encourage them. Cough it out, cough it out, cough harder, okay? That's our gag reflex working to try and remove the airway obstruction. But if they go to a point where they're grabbing their throat, they're moving their lips, but they're, no words are coming out. Are you choking? They're nodding their head. Okay, I'm going to do the Heimlich maneuver. I'm going to maneuver. I'm going to get behind you. Okay, here's the belly button. I want to make a fist and put it just above the belly button. Okay, the other hand's going to go around. I want to make sure the head's to the to the right or left so I don't get biffed in the, in the chin, lip, or nose. Okay, I want to have a good stance. Okay, whether it's my right leg forward or my left leg forward. Okay. I need to be prepared to lower them to the ground if they pass out. Think about it. If you can't breathe after 30 seconds, you're probably going to go unconscious. Okay? So here I got my right leg forward. My fist is just above their belly button. Here's the belly button. Okay? I want it just above the belly button, not high on the, on the stomach. Okay? The other hand goes wrapped around. The Heimlich maneuver is an abdominal thrust, and a thrust is quick and hard. So. I'm gonna go <clears throat> quick and hard. It's inward and upward on a 45 degree angle, okay? It's not a double pump. <clears throat> it's not a slow squeeze, okay? It's everything you got. Each attempt is a separate attempt to force the airway obstruction out, <clears throat> okay? Take a deep breath, reset, <clears throat> okay? You get that little grunt if you need to. But the idea is to give everything you got in order to <clears throat> do the Heimlich maneuver on this victim, okay? Let me show you myself here. Here's my belly button. The idea of going just above the belly button is I can capture all this air to, all this air to force the obstruction out. If I go up here in the center of my stomach, now when I go inward, some air is going to go down and some air is going to go up. I'm losing some volume of air to help force the obstruction out. So that's the importance of going just above the belly button, okay? You get a guy like, Fireman Tony, I can't get my arms around you, dude, okay? Guess what? Up under the armpits to the center of the chest, okay? So kind of like a vertical compression. Here's the center of the chest. I'd be right here. Remember, get that head over to one side so you don't get biffed in the lip, nose, or chin yourself. <clears throat> Straight in. <clears throat> okay? Have a good stance. If they pass out, you're going to be able to lower them to the ground a lot easier. Pregnant women. Yeah. We can't do the Heimlich maneuver on pregnant women who are showing. So, it'd be up under the armpits in the center of her breast. Okay? And we're going straight in. Okay? If we can't save mom... We won't be able to save the baby, okay? So it's in the center of the breast, straight in, okay? If you have a five-year-old, okay, a child, remember? Infants are zero to one, children are one to five, adults, I'm sorry, children are one to puberty, and adults are puberty and older. We're gonna drop to a knee. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see me here. Oh, yeah. I dropped to a knee. I got a little five-year-old right here. Same thing. I'm going to find his belly button. I'm going to put my fist just above the belly button. But I've dropped to a knee, okay? I've got my right foot kicked out. I know you can't see that, but the point is <clears throat> you drop to a knee versus hunching over him. Now I'm down to their level. Make sure you get that, ahead, that head to one side or the other of you, okay? Infant choking relief would be on a different mannequin. This, this mannequin here, coincidentally, can represent a child, one to puberty, 
for an adult puberty and older, okay? So when it comes to choking, let me say this. Slow down. Take smaller bites. Chew your food. Enjoy your meal, okay? That's why people are choking. Taking large bites and inhaling their food. We got two tubes that go down, go down in our body, okay? The trachea to our, to our lungs. We don't want food going down that. That's what causes us to choke. And also the esophagus, okay? So, with that being said, take smaller bites, chew your food, swallow, enjoy that meal, okay? Be careful, stay healthy. <clears throat> we'll see you at the next, the next series.